Welcome everybody, it's Salomon. In this video, we are going to be talking about the original purpose of the staffs. And when I say this, we're going to be talking about why they were created in the first place. Because we don't know exactly why they were created. We can get little hints and all this stuff, but we don't know the real reason why. We can speculate, and that's what we're going to be doing inside this video. So the best way I feel that we should be able to go about trying to figure out why they were made in the first place is by looking at who created them and their abilities. So we do know they were created by the ancients, which we'll get back to in a little bit now that we actually know who the agents are that's what we were told so in origins we were always told that they were created by the agents but we didn't know who the agents were but now that we do know who they are now I know a lot of people already know but I will talk about it later in the video but first things first let's actually talk about their abilities so let's talk about the more obvious ones so guess what the staffs can be used as a weapon I know big surprise I didn't even see that one coming now I'm just kidding but anyways we see in origins them being used as a weapon pretty darn powerful weapons too we see the lightning one we see the ice one we see the fire one we see the wind when we see all the four different abilities which apply to each character but we could see that they are used a weapon we've seen them in origin so it's pretty obvious so i'm not going to spend that much time on it. actually moving in from it right now so this one I think a lot of people actually don't notice this and where I'm going to be getting this information from is a Dreis Drake cipher but it doesn't specifically mention the staffs but nonetheless I do believe this is ability from the staff which I'll be explaining in just a second but first let me read off from the cipher. Of course it is just a small part of the cipher it's not the full cipher because the rest of the cipher doesn't really talk about anything else it kind of changes what it's talking about randomly halfway through but anyways it says after the great battle they stood upon the mound. Their light shone down and cleansed all the sickness as far as the eye could see. So reading this, it does sound like they're just talking about their light shone down, but what I believe this is actually talking about is this premise picture that we get in Origins that we had for so long already, and we see them shining their light as far as the eye can see. I'm not too sure if you could see that, but they're shining their light and they're maybe cleansing the sickness as far as the eye can see. We're not too sure if that's actually happening when we see this at the end of Revelations 2, but we do know that maybe it's from the staffs because we they are standing upon something that looks at least like a mound, whatever a mound really is but it seems like this is one of their abilities to cleanse this sickness so as for what the sickness could be it could be that they're just killing all the zombies that could be what they're talking about there's a lot of different things it could actually be it could be like a real sickness obviously it could just be cleansing that world as of the element 115 maybe it's something like that because one thing I would actually love to know about the staffs if they're actually powered by element 115 because I don't think they are and I think it'd be so cool if they're not just imagine that we we have these elements of course the biggest thing that I would believe that would say that these aren't controlled by element 115 or at least using 115 is because they're actually using real elements they're using fire water wind and the last one lightning <laughs> So it would be so cool if we didn't have to see another thing explained by element 115. Something like the blood that isn't actually using 115. I like to see more things that aren't related to 115. Not that I don't like 115. I think it's so cool, but I feel that they're trying to overuse it. They're using it not only for reanimating dead cells now. They're they're now using it for time travel or for dimensions and all this weird stuff that they're using for. So I would like to chill out on that 115 for now. But like I said, the sickness, we really don't know what it could be. Maybe it's just them killing all the zombies maybe they're actually cleansing the dead bodies of the zombie sickness and they'll probably just stay dead since that's not how element 115 is supposed to work inside this world but anyways he the last ability that they have and this one a lot of people forget this but this is what we first use them for well no we actually first use them as a weapon but back in origins we first use them for what we use them to get to our Gartha remember that was a whole goal of origins we were supposed to free Samantha from origins that's why we built them and she says this multiple times throughout origins that we need to free her from Argartha to use the staffs to do that they are the keys remember secure the keys the upgrade staffs which at least I believe to be the original staffs so just to clear this up I believe the upgrade versions of the staffs are the original staffs but the first versions you get are the Maxis's versions of the staffs that's at least what I believe going back to who created them because now that we've discussed all their abilities let's actually talk about who created them so like I said at the start of the video I said the agents created them and who who are the agents? They are Primus, and Primus are our characters, as we saw at the end of Revelations. Our characters went and became Primus, or however you want to say it. They kind of went back in time and maybe just gained the name Primus, whatever Primus even means. Well, Primus means the first, but I'm not too sure if it's something special to back then. Not, nothing at least I found in real life, but I don't know. Anyways, that's been getting off track, but we have to think about this. So if it is the Origins characters in the far future, which is kind of weird because it's in the past, but it's the future of our characters, kind of weird. But 
Anyways, it's a future of our characters who've been living in the medieval times for at least some time now, and they want to build these staffs, which, like I said, they have three abilities that we're aware of, and they probably use them for all three of these abilities, but what I believe, and I think is the best idea for these staffs to be originally created for, is to reach Argartha, because when our characters were sent back in time, they were thrown out of Argartha, the perfect world that Monty created, and maybe they want to return to Argartha, or maybe they want to do just go and kill Monty for kicks or something like that, or maybe they found out Monty was evil or something along those lines, it just could have been from so many different reasons, but they wanted to return to Argartha, and maybe they used the staff to fight against, this is why they also had the weapon ability, because they wanted to have the power to actually face Monty, that's why they could be used to reach Argartha and to fight off Monty, because obviously Monty was throwing our characters out of existence for a little bit, so it looks like he's pretty darn powerful, but maybe with the staffs, that is no longer the case or something like that. That. But now how I think the last ability fits in is because maybe they did succeed at throwing Monty out of Argartha And actually when he got thrown out of Argartha the same thing that we saw inside buried And I have this theory in a separate video if you guys want to check it out It'll probably be down in the description, but let me just sum it up just real quick But they threw him out of Argartha He became he went to the world that they were in in the medieval times and he made the he bring the apothecans and all that pretty shadow man -y type of thing to do but anyways, that's what he did and that's why we see inside the theater of the Monty zombie and when they did that they had to return to the past and they had to leave Argartha in the perfect world and of course they went and fought off Monty, the Rise of the Dark King and the Mexican test subject and a bunch of different people but and that's what they did they fought against them and of course they won of course that was, that's what we hear inside all the ciphers and everything we've ever heard of them. So that's the idea of this theory and what the staffs at least I believe what the staffs were originally made for. So tell me what you guys think about this theory. Do you guys think it's likely or unlikely or do you guys think I made a mistake some more if I did make a mistake actually go ahead and tell me down in the comments but if you guys think you could even expand on this theory also tell me that and down in the comments but I'm planning to make a larger theory for the whole zombies I guess a Blundell zombie story very soon whenever I get a chance for that but anyways if you guys did enjoy this video go ahead and thumbs up if you guys want to stay tuned for more content similar to this go ahead and subscribe but I'm going to go and I will catch you guys on my next video